Oh, hey everyone, this is take two uh, on the 58 early gun. Uh, I sat down here and talked about it, and when I uploaded the footage, I realized it was 11 minutes long, and I thought nobody wants to sit through that. So, here we go again. I'll try to keep it brief. I wanted a gun that was a little bit bigger than my 45 for hunting. Uh, thought I'd probably just build a gun that was strictly for hunting. Uh, I mean, not that I won't target shoot with it, but uh, that's its main purpose of the build was to hunt. So, I thought I'd go with a little larger caliber, so I went with the 58 uh, York Golden Age Profile Barrel from Rice. Uh, 166 twist. It's a C weight. Uh, 58's the biggest hole they can put in the C weight, so uh, part of the reason I went with that, that barrel. Um, R.E. Davis Colonial American Lock. Uh, it's actually made by Larry Zorns in Jackson, Ohio, the Molden Gun Shop. Um, the trigger guard butt plate, Alan Martin, uh, those are his designs. I bought them at the Lewisburg Artisan Show when I picked up the barrel from Jason at Rice uh, back in February of 2022. Um, the thimbles and the nose cap, I believe, are the only thing I picked up from Track of the Wolf. They're just standard round thimbles. Um, I decorated them a little bit, cut some uh, little, little cuts around the edges just to dress them up a little, but yet keep them simple. Um, the side plate and the rear sight I got from Blue Knob muzzle loading up in uh, Danville. So that's where those parts came from. Trigger, trigger plate, and the uh, front sight are Allen Martins as well. The uh, front sight is just a little, basically a little square piece of brass that you could shape into a bead or whatever design you want. On the gun, I did a little bit of carving, not much. I don't even know if you want to call it carving. I just uh, did some beaver tails around the lock mortise and uh, just a little bit of stuff around the comb there. Um, you know, from the toe up to the wrist, I put some lines and I put lines, uh, you know, out along the barrel. Uh, just, just to give it a little something. Uh, I went with a plain piece of hard maple that Rick had, my buddy Rick Browse. Um, Jack's Mountain muzzle loading up in Burnham. Uh, that's uh, Mark Weeder. He uh, did the inletting and the ramrod hole for me. Uh, this was the first gun I did that did not have a pre-cut inlet for the lock and the trigger and all that. Um, everything was square. So that was a challenge and that was fun. Um, I actually was surprised how well it went. So that was fun to push myself as a gun maker, if you will, to, uh, to, to do that. Uh, put it put it in there with nothing to guide you, so to speak. So, the trigger guard and the butt plate. The trigger guard was probably the thickest, crudest piece of brass I've ever had to work with. It took a lot of shaping. I had about four hours in just the trigger guard or shaping. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And, uh, yeah, this thing is going to be a thumper, I tell you. It's uh, it's going to put some critters down, I'm telling you. It's, it's a... It's a good, nice, it's a nice gun. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. And I think in another video, I'll go ahead and go over my horn and my accoutrements in the bag of how I'm going to have this gun uh, bag and horn set up. Thanks for tuning in. Let's, uh, let's send some lead out of this thing. I took the back of a shredded wheat box because I like cardboard like that. It cuts nice and clean. It doesn't leave a ragged hole. It like punches a nice, clean, crisp hole. Um, put a little like uh, one inch or inch and a quarter dot. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it at 25 yards and see how it shoots. My uh, first few shots had been high, so I filed the top of the rear sight a little bit. We're gonna try that with what I filed. I feel like we're gonna be right on for a six o'clock hold or dead on hold. So put this box out here and take a few shots. See where we hit. Shoot a few more. The hang fire. 
are there. Looks like I'm a little low, but still. Now there's five shots. One, two, three, four, five. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll go over my bag and horn here in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching.